like, hey everyone, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl, and boy do I hope I am live on the Hungry Girl page, and not my personal page. Am I live, Jamie? Do you see me? You are live. Yes! Oh good. How are you guys? I am so excited to be here. I am in my kitchen. Look at this. I'm giving away some of the ingredients already to today's recipe. That's right. I'm using egg beaters, people. Uh, what's going on? If you like my shirt, I made this, everybody. If you watched me on Saturday night, I said I was going to go tie-dye right after um, I went off of Facebook. And I did. I tie-dyed a whole bunch of stuff. I tie-dyed sneakers and some shirts. This shirt is like really old and I made it look updated and cute. And I think maybe I'm going to give away a tie-dye set in the future when I can get a hold of one to give you guys. I have Jamie on the line. Hey, Jamie. Jamie says hello, and she's also in the audience, and you know Jamie from the podcast, and she's here to answer questions and be my little sidekick on the phone because I don't have Laura in the nerve of her. She has a job, and she's not going to be as available as she used to be, which is really kind of sad, but I am super excited to be here. Today, I am making a coffee cake in a mug. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about what inspired me to make this. First of all, everybody loves coffee cake. If you love coffee cake, I want you to click like, click hearts, click loves, whatever, because I want you to interact. I want you to say you like coffee cake. I want you to be part of this and try to win prizes. And the way you win prizes here is by talking, you know, leave comments, say, hey, how you doing? I want to win something. Today, you're going to have a chance to win this eat cake for breakfast sign jamie isn't it pretty it's beautiful it's so pretty and i signed it it says chew the right thing and there it is and you could win this here's how you win it if you want to win this tell me you want to win the art answer the questions because i have some coffee cake trivia yep there's such a thing as coffee cake trivia i bet you didn't know um so throughout this i'm going to show you how to make the cake in a mug i am going to tell you how to win prizes i'm going to ask questions and you could win this or a lovely set of Hungry Girl measuring spoons that will, look, they match my shirt. They will, they will brighten up your kitchen and your life, I assure you. These spoons are beautiful. You can't buy them anywhere and you can only win them during these Facebook Lives. So, back to the coffee cake. The coffee cake I am making was inspired because I heard about this special vegan coffee cake through Katie. Shout out to Katie, she's one of the Hungry Girl employees. And she has recently uh, gone plant-based, and when she was raving about this vegan coffee cake, I took the recipe home, gave it to my vegan niece, Lauren, who made the cake. It was incredible, like, to die for, but it was very uh, buttery and high in calories, and I said, you know what? I could recreate that. I could make it in a mug. I could save a ton of calories, and that is what I did. So tonight's coffee cake is only going to have 177 calories. Hearts and likes for that, everybody. Give it up. Are you excited about that? I see some people I know in the audience. Anyway, um, I am super excited about this and I'm gonna show you how to make it and I'm gonna ask questions starting with this one. All right, I thought we'd have a little fun tonight. There is a National Coffee Cake Day. J uh, Jamie, did you know that? I did not. Okay. Is it today? No, it is not today. There is a National Coffee Cake Day. So the first way I'm gonna ask you to win a prize, this is a little different because I'm gonna give away an extra set of measuring spoons. If you know what day it is, okay, I'm gonna tell you what day it is, but if anyone out there has a birthday on this day and you can prove that you have a birthday on this day, we're gonna pick, if there's more than one person, we'll pick them at random, right, Jamie? Yeah. Okay, so National Coffee Cake Day is April 7th. If you were born on April 7th, let us know. If there's, and you can prove it, we, we're going to need some proof. This is like bingo. We're going to need to like get some backup. If there's more than one person born on April 7th, one of you will be chosen to win measuring spoons. Was that complicated? Kind of. Anyway, I'm going to start making the coffee cake in a mug. I have my Dateline mug. Isn't it beautiful? I have uh, used some Pam in this mug, but I'm going to spray it again just to remind you. You want to just use a little non-stick spray in your mug. I like the wide bottom mugs because you get a better shape for your coffee cake. That is just for any cake. And this mug is a beautiful size. All right, now into the mug, we're gonna start. This recipe, I don't wanna say it has a lot of ingredients, but there are several ingredients and 
It may seem a little fussy to you, but do not worry. We're gonna tell you exactly where to go to find the recipe, so you don't have to worry about writing everything down right now. Just pay attention and have fun and interact with us, okay? So we've got some flour. This is three tablespoons of flour, goes into the mug. Two tablespoons of oats. This is just like your regular, standard, old-fashioned Quaker oats. And the flour I used was regular flour because I can't find whole wheat flour anywhere, but you could use whatever flour you have in your house. Just use it, use it proudly. Next up, we've got, this is one of my like MVP ingredients these days, I'm obsessed with it. This is Swerve uh, brown sugar replacement. It's like a Swerve brown sugar and it is phenomenal. It works exactly like brown sugar. This is two teaspoons in there. Then we're gonna need a little baking powder to make it rise, only a quarter teaspoon of that. You don't wanna know, I accidentally made a version of this. It happens without the baking pad powder and it was a flat pancake, so don't leave it out. Then we've got some cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of this. I like this Watkins cinnamon. Jamie, have you tried Watkins spices? No. There's Oh, they're amazing. They make great spices and extracts. So they're, those are my dry ingredients and I'm gonna add a dash of salt, just a, a small little amount of salt, which will help bring out the sweetness and the flavor. And you're gonna mix this together. So this is my cinnamon, a dash of salt, oats, flour, baking powder in this lovely and talented mug, my Dateline mug, don't watch alone. Are you following out there? Hi, Betsy. Betsy, are you a little late today? Betsy's here. I love you, Betsy. Okay, next up we have some of the more wet ingredients. And we're gonna start with vanilla. We have a half teaspoon of this lovely baking vanilla. Get in there. I'm always afraid that I'm gonna put too much in, it's gonna just like all fly out of the bottle. But I do like vanilla. Next, we have some applesauce. We need a tablespoon of applesauce. This is unsweetened applesauce. That's what I tend to use. If the only thing you have is sweetened applesauce, it's not gonna like ruin the recipe, but try to get the unsweetened kind. And then a tablespoon of egg substitute, egg whites, egg beaters, just a tablespoon into your mug. Okay, is everybody having a good time yet? Yes, yes. and we've yes. got Oh, we pinned a link to some wide bottomed mugs. That Jamie, you are the best. The wide bottomed mugs are the best, honestly. They just make everything a better shape when you're done with it. Okay, so now we're gonna mix this together. And it's gonna look like it's not that much because it's it's gonna be sort of like a thick batter. I don't know if you can see that in there, but you just wanna combine it so it gets all gorgeous. So just a reminder, we've got some oats in here, we've got some flour in here, we have the swerve brown sugar, we have applesauce, we have egg, we have vanilla, we have cinnamon, we have salt. We've got a cake party going on right here. And I'm gonna just flatten it into the bottom of the mug because you wanna just get it to cover the whole bottom of the mug. Do you see that? Can you see in there? Can you see how? I, would, I don't know, yeah, is it pretty or is it hideous? I don't know. I always do these close-ups and I'm like, are people frightened by my food? I certainly hope not. Um, okay, so this is, for all intents and purposes, our the bottom part of our cake. Now I'm gonna mix some topping. So here's what we're doing. This is two more teaspoons. Look at those cute little, it looks like a bikini top or a bra. Two, two teaspoons of uh, my swerve brown sugar. Then I'm gonna do another quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and another dash of salt. Just a tiny dash, it really helps. It totally brings out the flavor. Now we're gonna mix this together. I'm gonna use the back of my spoon just to get that all mixed. I kind of feel like I should ask another trivia question. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask one right now. So, there was a very famous sitcom that had a very famous scene about coffee cake where one of the main characters bribed another character with a Drake's coffee cake. 
Does this sound familiar to you? It's a really super popular sitcom. Does, Jamie, does, do you think you know the answer? I, I might. Well, don't say it. I won't. If you guys know already, right, it's a sitcom from a long time ago. And um, one of the main characters bribed another with the Drake's coffee cake. Who loves Drake's coffee cake? Do you like Drake's coffee cake? It's like my number one, other than That's mine. The best. The best. All right, so there's our topping. It's just cinnamon and brown sugar, two teaspoons and a quarter teaspoon. Does anyone know the uh, answer? Should I tell people? Okay. Lots of people are guessing Seinfeld. It is Seinfeld. Good guess. All right. So before I put the, the uh, little crumble topping on, I'm gonna melt, this is two teaspoons of my favorite light butter of the day, which is Lando Lake's light butter. I'm gonna just melt this for a few seconds in the microwave. I'm just gonna get it melty, melty. Can you believe I made this shirt? It makes everybody feel like an artist. You don't even know what you're doing. You twist it up, you tie, you squirt dye all over it, and then it comes out like this. I can't wait to show you what else I made. It's so easy. If you guys have not tie dyed, just make sure you wear gloves and you do it outside. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so now my butter is melted. It smells awesome. All right, so next we are gonna sprinkle this topping onto the cake batter. So you're gonna try to cover the whole top. I'll show you what it looks like just so you can get a nice glimpse because it's gonna get all melty and you're gonna be like, OMG, I need this in my life. So the topping is in there, and now I'm gonna pour the melted butter over it just to add the gooiness. This is ridiculous, I'm telling you. And it's just the right amount of butter. You don't need a lot of butter, that's the thing. You're gonna get a big serving. My sister ate this for breakfast before she left her visit today, and she said it was incredible. She said she liked it more than the high calorie vegan version, and that is why I have the eat cake for breakfast sign that you might win. Okay, now I have my buttery, gooey cake situation. It's going into the Hello Kitty microwave for a minute and a half. Jamie, do you want to help me time it? Because my Hello Kitty microwave is pretty lame. Right. Minute, and a half. <laughs> minute and a half. I love this microwave, but it doesn't have like exact numbers. It has like a one and a two and you could put it in the middle, but what do you expect for a microwave you got in 1999 at the mall? Not much. All right, we have another trivia question. Where did coffee cake originate? What country did coffee cake originate in? Do you know, Jamie? I did not know this. No, I would have guessed here. I had no, I know, that's what I said, but no, but guess, hold on, I'm gonna get a plate in case I wanna plate this. Do I wanna plate this? Maybe. Keep guessing. Oh. I grabbed the wrong kind of plate, but do not judge me. Um, it originated in a country that is not America. So if you want to guess where it originated, you can. Did anybody say they had a birthday on April 7th? No? Yes? I think we saw one or two. Oh, I hope so, because I'm giving away extra spoons to you people. <laughs> don't lie about it. I don't want you getting fake IDs so you can win Hungry Girl spoons. <laughs> That's kind of lame. Anyway. All right, we're getting some guesses. Poland, England. Poland? Think it's Dutch. England? It's Germany! It originated in Germany, and guess what? It is not called coffee cake because it's made with coffee. It's called coffee cake because it does what with coffee? It goes, yes, it goes well with coffee. Jamie, next time I see you, you get measuring spoons. Are we, are we at a minute and a half yet? What's going on? Oh, I can't even handle it. This is, it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna tell you, oh, my son's is April 8th, April 8th, April 8th. What does it say on the fridge? Oh, on the fridge, that's, those are emergency phone numbers for the vet in case we have animal emergencies. We like to be prepared. Okay, it looks like it's ready. Whoa, okay. I just can't even handle the beauty of this. So the thing that I love about this cake is that there's a top, the top, look at this please. It's like got melty, gooey, buttery brown sugar. Do you see this? Is everybody like sending hearts like there's no tomorrow? Is that gorgeous? Ooze and or Oz. By the way, this, uh, this recipe and all recipes, I'm just gonna tell you, you're gonna find it, I'm gonna tell you how to get all the recipes. You go to hungry-girl.com slash live. This will be posted live. It's also going to be in an upcoming Hungry Girl email. Who out there gets the Hungry Girl emails? 
Do you get the emails? If so, tell us what you like about them. Tell people in the audience who may not get the emails why they need the emails. And then also, to be eligible to win prizes, another way is by sharing this video. Jamie, do you share these videos? Is there anything more satisfying than sharing a Hungry Girl recipe video? I don't think there is. To me, not really. I feel like, what's more satisfying than that? Like, can you yeah, think of? Spreading joy. Spreading joy and, and good recipes and fun. And I almost wanna, like, I can't decide if, should I take this out of the mug? Let's do it, let's see it. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I don't even have a, a plating utensil. is so beautiful I can't even handle it I feel like I'm gonna cry I feel like I gave birth to this <laughs> look at it it's so pretty I can't believe it and it's really satisfying I have to say my sister ate this for breakfast and said oh my gosh I'm gonna go home and make this every day she loved it and How many calories? only 177 calories and it has 4.5 grams of fat which is practically nothing 5.5 grams of protein if you count points it's only four points on the green and blue plan and three measly paltry points if you're on that purple plan and do we like this are we getting lots of likes lots of love oh lots and lots of love you people i love you all i have to say hey susan susie you want this i'll bring it over okay later this week i am going to make are you ready jamie i have perfected i have perfected a twinkies protein shake that i've already had twice in the past two days it is a Twinkies protein shake and it will give you chills, it's so good. I made the Ding Dong shake. So I have an upcoming Twinkies protein shake, Ding Dong protein shake, and we have those white pizza dumplings that I have promised and many, many, many more things. Okay, in the meantime, you need to do several things. You need to sign up for the daily emails. You need to share this recipe. You need to find the recipe if you want at hungrydeskgirl.com slash live. What else did I need to do? Yep. And uh, listen to the podcast, which is coming out on Wednesday with a lot of great things. All my favorite things that are in my pantry right now. But this cake, I don't know. I'm going to take photos with it. And then I'm probably going to sleep with it under my pillow and eat it for breakfast. Okay, I'm going to leave you now. I could not love you more. And I will be back very soon with another recipe. I am Lisa Lilly, and also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.